Hi everyone, welcome to our fourth lesson. As you always know, in all this slides video presentation, you will receive PDF file where you have to, not really have, but I mean, I would like you to read it. And of course you're gonna find your homework and just let's, if you have any questions, you can contact me and ask me if you don't understand something or like if you have additional questions or just if you need some information, I'm here to help you. So uh, the way how you can make money with cryptocurrency, I prepared a couple um, alternative ways how you can earn money with it. So let's go on with our slides. I believe that it's for most of you, maybe not all, I don't know, but it's like for me, it's impossible to spend a few days or a day uh, now without uh, hearing about cryptocurrency. It's always on the news, like what's happening, the increases, the, the increase the price, like uh, Ethereum is now over $1,000. Uh, Bitcoin is over, over 40,000. So as you might know, I'm recording everything in advance. So the price kind of escalated when I started to record videos and when I'm continuing um, recording for your lessons. So it's kind of major, I don't know, like way over. So as well, like Litecoin price as well, hitting new heights. So it's very amazing and very, um, I don't know, like rewarding. I guess, to be involved in the cryptocurrency and actually able to make money out of it, right? So I prepared a couple of ways how you can invest in digital currency and actually how you can get money into digital currency, how you actually can ways of um, actually making money in cryptocurrency. So this is like a couple of um, alternative ways. So it's investing, trade cryptocurrency for profit, staking and lending, crypto social networks and mining. So I'm doing investing, I do as well trading and I do crypto social networks. So crypto social networks is pretty much as blogging, right? So you have a blog, you write useful informational content and some people hire you to represent them or to view and just review the product so you make money out of it as well right you have a block of it if you're more into social media so uh investing is usually about long term if you're looking for longer term like for your savings or your pension or your for your kids your grandchildren like for your future ahead so it's the perfect um, opportunity for buying and holding assets for some time or a couple years is 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 depends on you what is more suited for you right so that's one of uh, really good investment because when you invest um you get very good percentage like you get very good profit every day right or even a couple hours let's say it depends on on circulate on circulating supply as well as market cap and all of volumes what's been happening so that's one right so buyer exchange cryptocurrency trading so as as trading uh your first option is just to buy coins, right? As soon as you buy, it's various exchange that will allow you to buy or exchange coins in order to keep in your wallet, or you can just do exchange from dollars to, um, to Litecoin, for example, right? So it's plus or minus, I believe that most of you kind of understand what this stock market and how exchange market works. So with cryptocurrency, it's a little bit different. It's just only cryptocurrency, right? So, for example, Coinbase offers a very clean user interface and is one of the best ways to get started if you don't have any experience with, with cryptocurrency. So this is one of the reasons why I chose Coinbase for our registration, how to purchase coins, how to sell it and much more, right, as well as BRD. So BRD is more as well, it's, it's suitable for 
uh, exchange because it is exchange kind of platform. So you can use as you're investing, right? Or if you prefer to do trading or swap, like so pretty much like it's many alternative ways even in trading of the meaning of it. So sometimes trading can mean that, let's say I want to take Bitcoins and I want to exchange to other cryptocurrencies, right? So it's it's kind of bigger um, opportunity circle in that, but as well as investment. You can buy different cryptocurrencies and you can still make your money out of it. So you pay the market rate for the coin. So what we did, what you've noticed in our second lesson, right? You bought and you needed to pay like market rate or some fee and for your coin and then hold it until you're ready to sell it. So this is kind of much as investment. So it depends on every one of you, but you have to be very smart when you invest in cryptocurrency because sometimes um, you can make mistakes. Let's say you can buy with one high price and in a couple of days it can go lower. So you have to invest very carefully. You have to understand that maybe you should just like buy Bitcoin or Ethereum, like any alternative coin for that amount, what you can invest and you're comfortable with, then just putting 10,000 when you're not really comfortable with it. So as investment wise, I would recommend to invest the amount what you are comfortable and you can allow to yourself. So yeah, as, as all stock markets, as, as well as cryptocurrency, it can always fluctuate. It can always go down. It can always go up. So I want that you will be realistic in this subject, that you won't believe that I will invest now 1,000 and in one week I'll have 10 grand, like it's not gonna happen. So I just want that you will understand the situation. And this is why I want that you will learn how to buy alternative cryptocurrency, like altcoins, you know, because Bitcoin is very expensive right now and not every one of you can afford to buy it. So, and if you don't know what it is cryptocurrency, it will be kind of difficult for you to understand uh, the bigger picture out of it. So this is why I I really hope and that people will be like more involved into cryptocurrency because as more people are involved and in buying of even altcoins, uh, the price will grow, right? So you can buy um, Litecoin or you can buy Ethereum, then you can just all your altcoins, you can just change it to Bitcoin. So it's really much opportunity what you can do um, if compared to our fiat currency, right? So I prepared for you kind of different trades, as you remember, like uh, sheets. So you will see how the price kind of change and what's happening. So when you do trading, uh, I usually use, um, I, I do spreadsheet from market cap from different exchange platforms. And I do analysis charts uh, to understand when is perfect time to trade. And as well, you can make like much more big at profits by regularly swapping digital assets. So sometimes trading is good, like from one you, you swap to another, as I said that before. So trading might like may even be a full-time job because you have to be very cautious what you do you have to be able to work under pressure and you need to know how to control it. Like you cannot, um, I mean, if you're, if you have no patience or you don't have any understanding or you get uh, nervous or anxious in very like quick environment, like I wouldn't like suggest because you can lose everything by trading, right? But for more like regularly make big profits, like swapping digital assets, it will be one of the good thing. As well, before trading and buying, um, I always look at analysis charts and trades and previous trades. So I kind of keep all records for it. So I want to know how do I increase and how market increase with that. So yeah, one of those 
simplest way. So for example, in order for anyone to start making profit from cryptocurrency trading, people simply have to have some digital assets and play with highs and lows correctly. So knowing the right time to trade, it will be easier for you to make those big profits out of it, right? But for all of this trading, it still requires time for you to learn. It still requires some mistakes on the way, like some loses, some gains. So I think that if you're feeling comfortable and you have some experience in stock market, you could try to just play around like with $100 or 200 as much as you feel comfortable to see how it goes, right? Never put in trading amount that as you don't feel comfortable enough because you don't really want to lose it, right? So um, yeah, this is pretty much what I kind of already explained that I'm doing analysis techniques and I'm trying to understand uh, what is the easiest way for me, like and afford, like you cannot, you have to be comfortable with the amount that you afford that you can afford to lose, right? So pretty much it's kind of explained and um, just sometimes like doing trading, it really operates 24 hours a day, seven days a week. And it's really very um, popular thing now to do crypto trading, but it still kind of can be like some assets for it, right? So you can do trading pairs such as Bitcoin and Bitcoin Cash or Bitcoin Cash and Tether and or just play around with digital assets by trading them, right? By swapping them. So this is Bitcoin Cash. This is pretty much analysis. It's it's kind of old, but it's pretty much shows like um, the market, how it goes, right? So you can see bull and bear here. You can see how price increases, what is downs and approximately the timing, right? So from all of these techniques, when you do trading, you have to know how to read it. You need to know how to read this uh, chart, right? Like what is best way, like until when you should wait to buy it, when you should sell it and what's like going on with this, right? Uh, so is betting and lending are very similar and allow investors to make money with altcoins. Basically staking means blocking coins in a cryptocurrency wallet and receiving rewards to verify transactions on proof of stake, right? Network. Um, like instead of mining, the POS algorithm chooses transaction val validators based on the number of the coins they have transferred to the stake. So this kind of subject, it's new, it's uh, getting more and more involved and people are still making more um, play around with it, you know, to see how, it, what it is actually and what can, can the profit can increase. So I'm not doing um, betting and lending, like staking, let's say, uh, because I never came across with it. So I cannot judge if it's good or bad. Um, I have no idea because I never tried it because I always like doing investment or just to do some trading. So I never came across with this. So I'm, I wouldn't be very good judge for you to recommend if it's good or no, but I prefer like slightly like the most uh, explanation of what it is. So as you see like um, POS, does not require expensive hardware and is much more energy efficient comparing to mining, what is good because mining, we're gonna still talk about the mining, right? So false staking is also an option that allows investors to bet on coins while storing them in a secure offline wallet. So it's Tether, Neo, Stellar, and whatsoever, like what other coins is possible. So it's one of the opportunity of knowing more and in my course i will have actually a speaker who will talk about um lending and stocking version of like pos like how does it works what is uh receiving rewards of it and much more like what um 
offline wallets are secure as well as uh, it's not required like expensive hardware for it. So if anyone wants to know more about it, uh, message me and we we will like settle the dates when actually the course will begin. So when are we gonna have the speaker for it? Because it's not gonna be in this uh, master class. Uh, it will be actually in the course because it will be different speakers who will explain uh, why they chose mining. Like for example, uh, some will say why they left mining and they went to trading. So why somebody do investing, why somebody do like, and so on, right? So the different aspects of cryptocurrency because it's big, it's big community. So it has different opinions, but most of our opinions are similar alike. But like everybody has different interests or comfort zone of earning it, right? Like I have a friend who prefers just to do mining because for him it's comfortable and he feels very like like a fish in the sea. So we're gonna have all these people comparing them fields why they chose that so you would understand what is better option and of course in course it will be completely different program because in this master class i'm just trying to teach you a fundamental basic understanding what is cryptocurrency so i really hope that after all of those lessons you will want to be more participant and you actually want really like make cryptocurrency as one of your main uh, passive income. So that's one of the things. So let's continue with that. Um, so accept payments in cryptocurrency. So another way to make money in cryptocurrency is by accepting them. Uh, you also need to have a digital wallet to work with people who are willing to pay you with cryptocurrency. So, you, so if someone is hiring you you can say that you accept cryptocurrency, so they would transfer you, let's say, Bitcoin or altcoin, but you have to calculate your service. So, for example, if you charge for hair, I don't know, $110 or euros, you're going to convert it in that currency what you would like to get, right? You cannot charge one Ethereum if you, if, if the Ethereum will cost 1000 and you're doing your hair cost 100. So you have to calculate it, right? So have like rough estimate of the cost of your service based on the value of the coin, right? So it's one of the major good things to accept Bitcoin for some of your services. Um, like you might ask like one fourth or one third of Bitcoin, depending on the project, what you're working on, right? So that as well, one of good payment because you're going to receive it. So you kind of saving it as well. Like it's kind of investment because it will still profit for you. So that's good. So if you see anywhere signs, Bitcoin accepted here, Litecoin or Ethereum, any other altcoin accepted here. So you know that you actually can pay for some services, what you're getting, or if you saw that your hairdresser or your technician or whatsoever where you at, accepting cryptocurrency so ask them what is option there so if you have beauty salon or you have your own business or your um, designer you can actually let me know if you would like to earn money in cryptocurrency by accepting it right so finally it's mining uh, finally you can mine your own cryptocurrency coins however uh, it's not that simple as it was before when you could simply use your home computer to mine Bitcoin. Today, with so many miners working with their rigs, it can be difficult if you want to make money from cryptocurrencies through mining. It's possible to earn money from mining, but the investment and cons you have to understand and calculate it uh, very carefully. So you must invest in graphic cards, what are expensive, and the right setup for the best chance you might earn money. You must know how to build a computer, you know how to, what software to download, and much more, right? So once you step it, step it up, all of everything, you will use more electricity than you can make money out of it. So mining 
are useful if you having mine minor farm for cryptocurrency and you have additional money to spend because the good machine of miner it's cost from six hundred dollars to up the best one you can find the cheap ones but then it can be breaking it can be overheating and so much right so some coins may be faster to mine than like some coins can be faster to mine right for example, you may have more better like mining Litecoin than Bitcoin, or you can also mine something like Monero coin. You can get them a lot faster, uh, but then you can sell them on your exchanges as well. So that's good. You can mine Litecoin and you can sell it. So it will be income for you, right? And much more. So it's like it's 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 pro and con as i told you before people like in the course it will be some uh people who do mining professionally and some people why they left they can explain you ups and down and um yeah it's like some coins really you can mine much faster and earn good profit with that like as i said litecoin or monero or other altcoin than bitcoin you might not have enough demand to sell all your coins, but if you're mining something less popular, it might take time to sell it, right? But I mean, it's not that bad. Like I'm looking at option of mining and I believe that having mining farm, it can be very well, but I mean, I understand pros and cons in that. So you have to be very, um, I don't know, I guess like realistic with that subject. So, yeah, so we talk for all of this. So it's, <laughs> as you see that mining, it's not cheap because of electricity, uh, but you can earn digital assets by buying some machines. So if you have one machine, you can start it with one and see how does it work for you, if it's good or no. So as well with coins that can be mined by CPU, uh, people can make make coins if they have enough personal computer cores and so much it's 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 really very impressing with mining but you need to know how to do it the correct way and just to understand that investments can be sometimes um you need to have good capital investment to get started with it so i just want to be honest with you but if you want to do mining or you want to learn more about it just just i just want to know that the course hopefully will come out as soon because we pre I'm preparing all the structure for speakers, for different um, um, companies who are gonna collaborate, different exchange platforms who are gonna collaborate with my students and so on. So all the structure now is building. So just just if you want to know mining, mining will have like um, eight models of it. So you can know everything what you want to know like as well about trading, it will be like 10 models in one lesson. So it's really big, very big project. And I want that my team will be very good and they can explain it, right? So let's continue with miners. This is what software for cryptocurrency mining look like. So you can see one and the second one. So if some of you doesn't understand what it is, it will be really hard for a fundamental lesson to explain it more. So if you want to learn more about mining, just write me a message in our group and just or private message to me so I can respond to some questions about the mining, about uh, all the procedures even of trading or investing as well. Like here we see a uh, mining farm. Uh, so as well, you can make, uh, get a cryptocurrency bonus as referral. So I will explain what referral is. Referral is the process of referring someone to someone for help or information or directing attention to something specific. So for example, um, <laughs> sorry, I collapsed a little bit because my battery is about to die. So you actually can get um, a special code and I'm gonna show it to you what it is. So Coinbase referral program allows you to receive a bonus for every successful referral registered with account, right? So as I send you a link, you, you got like referral, 
where you all registered, it was showing like, uh, it's actually my profile. So it says invite a friend of Coinbase and you will both get 825 euros, right? So I'm copying uh, the link, what is down, and I'm sending to you and all of you are registering. So when you're buying, I get a percentage. So it's kind of a referral program. As more you get involved of your friends, as well, you give them this link, your unique link. So when you register, you have your unique link, what you can find in your profile. So you share with your friends, you invite your friends by sharing that link. And when they buy something or they start to be involved, you both earn money, right? So it's one of the easiest way of uh, visiting like referrals. You send an invitation letter to your friend and your friend can click on the referral and or an email and sign up for Coinbase and purchase it. So it's kind of very good program, referral programs. You earn as well some percentage of it. So it's one of my favorite and it's much easier. So I mean, it's you don't like if your friend wants to know about cryptocurrency, you can recommend him, right? Like get into Coinbase and, you know, you recommend something good and I love Coinbase. I've been working for them for a long time. So this is how it looks like. So you invite a friend to Coinbase and you both get A25. And of course it will say, you know, someone curious about crypto, you both receive uh, A25 in Bitcoin when they buy or sell worth of 80 to 50, right? So if, if he buys more Bitcoin for like more than 100, it will be different percentage what you get, right? Uh, so yes, this is what I wanted to show you. So I guess this is what I already told you, but this is the link. How does it look like? And yeah, guys, so I really hope you enjoyed our fourth lesson. We still have a couple lessons left. And um, I'm sorry if I was trying to speak so fast because I'm now in Mexico. And um, yeah, the battery, the internet, and so yeah. If you have any questions, contact, and we're gonna have our video chat conversation soon so we can share if you understand something or you didn't.